So very quickly, it's going to be quite quick. I want to talk about potty training. And I feel like because this is me potty training my second child, I kind of know a little bit more. So I wanted to impart some wisdom for maybe some first time mums who are just beginning the process and... Hey guys, I am back with another video. Surprise, surprise. Um, okay, so very quickly, it's gonna be quite quick. I wanna talk about potty training. And I feel like because this is me potty training my second child, I kind of know a little bit more. So I wanted to impart some wisdom for maybe some first time mums who are just beginning the process and they're just some little tips I want to give. Now these tips, the tips are not actually about potty training itself. That one, I would say, read a book, do your own research and do it when you feel the child is ready. Um, uh, the second thing is that I feel like my daughter kind of got the hang of, what's this? So I've got a message. Huh. Um, I feel like my daughter got the hang of potty training a lot quicker than my son because she has an older sibling. So she's seen him and is almost like, you know, they always say the second child like gets things faster or something. Also, I've also heard that girls get it easy, get it faster than boys, which I don't know if that's true, but that's actually what's happened in my situation. So my I'm not giving tips on potty training exactly, but on um, certain things that I've used basically so i think that can help um and i've put links uh, below so that if you want to buy the stuff you can all right um okay so i it's january and i started potty training my daughter december over the christmas holidays and we were in lagos and i found that a lot easier because it's warmer so they're not she's not taking off layers uh we have rugs we don't have full carpeted our house isn't fully carpeted so if she makes a mess it's easy to clean and disinfect and all that stuff so i was like this is the perfect time to do it also i kind of did this when my son was the same age two years she's two years and four months i don't know if i've said that already sorry i've had three cups of coffee and i am woo buzzing okay i digress anyway so um i would say we started and with the wheeze by the end of the day the first day she kind of got the hang of it and we just did the method where you just let it all hang out and they're basically peeing on themselves and then they don't like the sensation and then it's like oh 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 then she knows to tell you that she needs to do use the potty or use the toilet or whatever it is that you want to call it so i found that it was quite straightforward with her the poos were a bit more difficult but we're handling that okay now that she's potty trained which is great because I'm like, oh, two children out of nappies during the day because she still wears a nappy to go to sleep. Um, I just wanted to talk about certain things that I thought would help, right? Uh, especially in Lagos. So when we were living in Lagos with my son, I bought this contraption because, I found, and I found it on Amazon, I bought this contraption because I just thought, a lot of the times, even if you're going a short distance, you're sitting in traffic. And then you now have a newly potty trained child who will now say, mommy, mommy, potty, potty. And you're sitting in traffic. And what are they going to do? Pee on themselves, right? And then you also, once you start potty training, you do not want to go back into wearing nappies because that can be confusing for the child. So what did I get? A portable potty. This thing is genius. And when, we were, when she first had a potty training, we used it, especially over the Christmas holidays, especially the first time we went out when she was potty trained, um, we took it out with us because in case, in case that there isn't a toilet where you're at or if you're outside or if it's not clean or whatever, you can get a travel potty, especially if, even if you go to the park. I just think it's fantastic. Or take it in the car if your child needs to use the toilet for long trips or if you're in traffic or whatever, right? This. You see this? This is a travel potty, right? Uh, I'm gonna like show a little video of, you know, kind of how it works. Basically, this thing, it's got a latch here that you open. Sorry, my nails. Oh my gosh. Uh -huh. And it looks like this, right? So, 
child does potty in here. When you're done, close it, shut it, carry it, right? You carry it, you take it home and you pour the contents into the toilet and you can clean it afterwards. Um, I have used this for my son and I've used it for my daughter and I just think it is like a, it is something that you just should have. I think it's absolutely fantastic. Um, so yeah, just that, that's kind of how it works. It's pretty, pretty basic, but it's just a great tool to have. Now that she is potty trained and she's in nursery and in nursery, it's, there's a toilet. So it's like a, it's like, I don't know how to explain it. It's like a mini toilet that they have for kids. So it's smaller, it's lower. Um, I got her this. And basically with this, it's sort of teaching them independence about like getting to the toilet themselves. So now she can kind of climb up the stairs and it's about going to the actual toilet themselves. And, you know, as you can see, there's a little bit of padding. And so she can, she's able to take down her um, undergarments and her whatever she's wearing and sit on the toilet like a big girl um i would say that for me those were like the two key things that i have bought i put the link down below if you would like to purchase them um that were i would say game changers for me with both of my kids potty training and i just thought i would share basically before they get too old and then it'll be like people ask me questions and i'll forget how it works so i hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's very snappy and quick. And um, yeah, and I will see you next time. Take care. Bye.